Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. I am Namrata, taking you to the world of mathematics. Today, let us learn about numbers. You have been learning about numbers in all your lower classes. In grade 3, you have learned 4 digit numbers. Today, let us learn 5 digits and 6 digit numbers. So, to start with, which is the largest 4 digit number you have learnt in your grade 3? Yes, it is 9999. What comes after 9999? How do we get it? When you add 1 to this number, we get the next number. Let us add and check. Before we add, let us write the place values. This is 1's place, 10's place, 100's place and this is 1000's place. Now, plus 1. 9 plus 1, 10. 1 is carried over. 9 plus 1 is again 10. So, if you have noticed, we have got a 5 digit number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, what is this 5th place? It is called as 10 thousandths place. So, when you read this number, we read it as 10 thousand. Also, this is the smallest 5 digit number. From here when you start counting, we get 10,001, 10,002, 10,003 and so on. Then we reach the largest 5 digit number and what is that largest 5 digit number? It is 99,999. So what happens after this number? We let us add 1 to this and check. Ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. I add one to this number. We get ten one carry again. So from the largest five-digit number, when we add one, we reach the smallest six-digit number. So let us write place values to this. This is 1's place, then comes 10's place, then comes 100's, 1000's. Now we know this is 10,000's and we write it in short form as T hyphen TH and then the 6th place is represented as L and this is nothing but lakhs place. We spell it as L A K H. So the 6th place is called lakhs place. Then how do we read this number? It is read as 1 lakh. Again I repeat it is read as 1 lakh and also this is the smallest 6 digit number. Again when you continue counting from here we reach 9 lakh 99,999 and that becomes the largest 6 digit number. I repeat, the largest 6 digit number will be 9,99,999. Now children, let us take a 6 digit number example. So here we have a number with 6 digits. So how do we read this? Before we try to read it, let us write the place values of this number. In the end we have 1's place. Next comes 10's place, 100's place, 1000's place, 10,000's place and finally lakhs place. So now let us read it. It is 4 lakh 67,925. I repeat 4 lakh 67,000. 
25. The way we read a number, we can also write it in words. That is, we are writing the number in its number name. So, let us write the number name of this number. It is 4 lakh. So, I start 4 lakh 60 seven thousand nine hundred twenty five next let us also learn how to represent this number on an abacus. So, to write it on an abacus, first we write the base of the abacus. Next, let me write the place values. We start with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and lakhs place. Now, we start with the last digit. We write 5 beads on this. In the next place we have 2. So, we draw 2 beads on this. Hundreds place we have 9. So, we write 9 beads. Next is 7. So, 7 beads. Again, in 10,000's place, we have 6. So, I draw 6 beads here. And finally, in the lakhs place, we have 4. To understand this 6 digit numbers even better, let us take one more example. So, here I have one more 6 digit number. So, how do we read this now? Let us write the place values, 1's place, 10's place, 100's place, 1000's place, then 10,000's place and lakhs place. So, to read this, we start here, 5 lakh 26,431. Again, I repeat, 5 lakh 26,431. Let us write this in number name. 5 lakh 26,431. One thing remember children, when you start the number name, the first letter of the first word should be in capital. So, we will write the abacus for this. We draw the base. We write the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and lakhs. So, we start from the last digit. We have 1 in the 1's place. So, we write only 1 bead. In the second 10's place, we have 3. So, we draw 3 beads in the 10's place. 4 in the 100's place. So, we draw 4 beads. 1000's place, it is 6. So, 6 beads. In 10,000's place, we have 2. So, we draw 2 beads and finally, in the lakhs place, we have 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 beads. Children, now I have a small exercise for you to work out yourself. You have to write the number names of these numbers and represent them on Abacus.
In today's class, we learnt about 5 digit and 6 digit numbers. We also learnt how to write their number names and represent them on Abacus. In our next class, let us learn more about numbers. Until then, take care. Thank you.